Hi, I'm Mel. I'm one of the specialist colorectal nurses working at the Heath Hospital here in Cardiff. And today I'd like to talk to you about constipation. So what do we mean by constipation? Poo is a waste product which is stored in the lower part of your bowel in your rectum. And usually people open their bowels every day or even every one to two days. But if it's longer than that, you may be constipated, especially if your poo is hard, lumpy, and difficult to pass. One way of assessing if you're constipated is to look at the Bristol stool chart. If you're a one to two on the chart, then this means you're more than likely constipated. Now there are a number of reasons why we get constipated and one of the main reasons is that we're not eating enough fibre in our diet. Fibre is brown bread, pasta, fruit, vegetables, those kind of things. The second reason is that we may be dehydrated and not drink enough water during the day, which can lead to constipation. The third thing is medicines. You may be taking something like cocodamol or antidepressants, and that may make you constipated. And lastly, it might be down to medical conditions like diabetes or bowel disorders or MS or spinal injuries. Other things to consider are things like pregnancy, where the weight of the baby presses down on your bowels, making it more difficult to go to the toilet. For some of us, we don't get enough exercise and lack of exercise can contribute towards constipation. We might be stressed or we might be anxious. That's another cause. And finally, ignoring the urge to go to poo. Lots of us do that all the time. You might not be aware that constipation on its own can cause problems. We can get bloated. We can have wind and pain. We can also have a feeling of feeling sluggish and nausea and vomiting sometimes. And we can also have hemorrhoids or piles as a result of constipation because of the constant straining. It can also put pressure on your bladder, making it difficult for you to wee. You could also increase the amount of exercise that you do within your physical limits, of course. So that would be something like gentle walking, um, swimming, any kind of exercise that you regularly do because that will tighten up your abdominal muscles and help the poo to process through your body. A key aspect of managing your constipation would be developing a regular toileting routine. What do I mean by that? I mean trying to go to the toilet first thing in the morning, about 30 minutes after you've had your meal would be an ideal time if you could and getting that into a regular routine for yourself. I don't know if you know but we're actually designed to squat when we go to the toilet but we've got toilets so we don't do that anymore so one effective way of putting ourselves in that squatting position is to simply place a footstool underneath our feet whilst we're going to the toilet which then makes our body adopt a 45 degree angle, which is ideal for opening our bowels.